hello everyone today this is going to be a demo for a backend project Django REST API so I have developed this project uh, maintaining a CI CD pipeline and deployed the project to uh, Amazon EC2 instance so I have used Jenkins for build automation and docker for uh, containerization and for source code management I have used github so let's have a look on the project scope so this is a personal portfolio project and this project is serving as a backend project uh, backend API for project electroverse so, which is a part of the full stack application and the project ha is connected with a backend uh, database uh, this is called Amazon Web Service uh, RDS storage and the, all the media files are uploaded to uh, Amazon Web Service S3 bucket so we will uh, see all those things in our demo uh, demonstration so let's have a look on the uh, Jenkins uh, dashboard so uh, this is the Jenkins job so uh, here we have a uh, Jenkins file a Jenkins script pipeline script for uh, doing the all the automation so let's have a, a look on the uh, github repository for this project so this is the uh, github repository and we have lots of commits there okay so uh, this is the source code and this is the uh, project link so if we want to uh, go to the source code I have uh, made some changes in the readme file the, the uh, deployment pipeline is activated uh, the uh, Jenkins build automation is activated when a github a push is uh, triggered in the master branch so for example here uh, we will see a new build triggered and a new docker container will be spinned up uh, in our Amazon EC2 instance here for example uh, we have we have been connected to our Amazon EC2 instance so let's check if any docker container is running already or not so sudo docker images so we see there is no image uh, currently and let's check if we have a container running already so, so docker and we see there is no container running so uh, our docker uh, amazon web service docker is almost um, actually empty right now so as soon as the github uh, push will be triggered um, in the master branch uh, it will be automatically running a new build so our last build number is uh, 16 so a new build by number by 17 will be triggered so uh, let's have a look uh, so here the readme file has been updated and if we see our uh, github, uh, github desktop there is a change so we check first the uh, github repository update so git status so we can see the uh, readme file has been changed so we make a commit right now and as soon as we push the commit to a remote repository the build will be started automatically so this is dated with me okay so I commit to the local repository and I will push it to the uh, to the remote so git imagine master branch so yes and here if we uh, see here a new build has been triggered automatically by Jenkins 
and if we if we see the details the console output we can easily see the Jenkins is doing its job uh, after pulling uh, the source code into the Amazon EC2 instance it's running a docker build and the build is successful so if we go to our oh, see uh, the uh, build number 17 is successful that means here in our Amazon EC2 instance the new uh, docker container should be running so we can check it sudo docker psa yes we can see that the uh, container is already up and running so let's have a look mm -hmm, on the uh, api so our api link is here if we check it will show the list of products so uh, for there are some images so each product has uh, its uh, own image according to uh, the product specification and the image has been uh, uploaded to uh, s3 bucket of amazon web service so, so that's a separate instance on amazon s3 um, instance and we are using uh, another instance of rds amazon web service for storing our data So there are some other API endpoints we can check. For example, if we uh, API users login, so this endpoint will be uh, served for login purpose. So basically, these uh, operations will be done from the front end application. Basically, so there are some more endpoints for uh, user registration and. So the list of all the endpoints I can uh, explain here. Let's uh, look at the uh, project uh, homepage and the Git repository. So here we will see all the uh, useful endpoints and more endpoints will be uh, added as the project grows since the project is uh, still uh, under development, continuous development. So yes uh, this is almost the end of our uh, demonstration and